It's 6.30 p.m. A resident of the Kiwaruka community falls off a ladder and is knocked unconscious. Found by a friend, it's clear that the patient has received significant head trauma and needs to be evacuated to a hospital quickly. In the most remote part of the Australian outback, there are no hospitals for hundreds of miles. An ambulance to the nearest hospital could take upwards of half a day just to reach our patient, whose condition is deteriorating fast, and another half day to bring them back to the hospital. Another resident calls 1300, contacting the only service capable of getting there in enough time to give our patient a fighting chance before they deteriorate too much. The call is received by dispatch at the Royal Flying Doctor Service in Alice Springs, 390 miles away. Alice Springs is the nearest city capable of treating our patient effectively and the closest RFDS base. The crew are briefed as they start off their Pilatus PC-12 and within minutes, Flying Dock 872 is airborne. The Kiwiruka community airstrip is not paved, controlled, or even illuminated in the same way as large airports. When the doctor's coming, it's a community effort to prepare the runway. The sun's going down, and without light, the runway will be invisible to the pilot. A group of the townspeople set out onto the runway in their vehicles to quickly light the strip's gas canisters that line the runway. Less than 45 minutes after takeoff, the Pilatus lands, carrying a pilot and a flight nurse who checks our patient's vital signs and evaluates their condition. They are placed onto a stretcher and lifted onto the plane. The doors are shut, the engine is started, and just like that, our patient is whisked away into the night sky. Stabilized on the flight, within the hour, our patient will be received at Alice Springs Hospital. For a journey that would take maybe more than a day by road, this whole ordeal is over in about three hours. What was described just now is what is dealt with day in, day out by Australia's Royal Flying Doctor Service, or RFDS. Founded on the 5th of May, 1928, the RFDS is the world's oldest air ambulance service, standing at 94 years old at the time of writing, 2022. Like most air ambulances, the RFDS is a charitable, non-profit organization relying on the donations of others to maintain their life savings operations all across the Australian outback. An air ambulance service like the RFDS is truly essential in a country as sparsely populated as Australia as there are countless towns, villages and settlements hundreds of miles from the nearest hospital and transportation by road is simply not practical when time is of the essence in a country so vast. The RFDS found its beginnings in the mind of the Reverend John Flynn in 1912. Posted to remote parts of the Australian state of Victoria, Flynn saw that people who felt ill and needed urgent medical attention would have to travel for tens or hundreds of miles for days on end using a primitive road system in primitive vehicles or a horse and cart or even on camelback. This method of transport was not sterile. It was slow and allowed patients to die en route, provided that transport was even available at all. During the mid-1910s, Reverend Flynn initially set up hospitals in bush communities under the Australian Inland Mission. However, this still left patients out on ranches outside the sphere of any practical medical coverage. Flynn had previously written numerous pamphlets on the subject, one of which, A Call to the Church, left an impression on one John Clifford Peel, a medical student with an interest in aviation. Peel soon wrote to the Reverend regarding the possibility of using aircraft as a quick method of communication in rural areas, something which the two discussed greatly until Peel joined the Australian Flying Corps as a pilot in 1917 and was deployed to the Western Front in Europe. But the idea didn't die with Peel's departure from Australia. During his voyage, Peel continued to brainstorm the project. While on operation in September 1918, however, Peel crashed while on a reconnaissance flight over northeastern France, dying as a result. Despite this, the idea did not die with Peel. With aircraft at the time few and far between, Reverend Flynn initially used Peel's legacy of improved outback communication with the support of innovative human-slash-pedal-powered radio transmitters, transmitting Morse code and the human voice later on as the technology improved throughout the 1920s. But the idea of a flying doctor service never left Reverend Flynn's mind. Throughout this time, 
the Reverend undertook countless fundraising activities with the aim of somehow procuring an aircraft. A handful of experimental aerial medical evacuations were carried out in 1926 and 1927 as proof of concept, and in 1928, Reverend Flynn entered into an agreement with the Queensland and Northern Territory Aerial Services, or Qantas to you and I. This agreement saw Qantas lease Reverend Flynn one single engine de Havilland DH-50 called Victory, operating under the name of the Australian Aerial Medical Service. With Qantas pilot Arthur Affleck at the controls, the new medical air service set out on its first mission from Cloncurry to Julius Creek, both in Queensland, with surgeon Dr. Kenyon Welch on board, and thus Australia had just pioneered the concept of the air ambulance. Even though it had to rely extremely heavily on public fundraising during the Great Depression of the 1930s, the Flying Doctor Service had made a distinct impression on the Australian public as an indispensable asset to Australian and outback life using pioneering technologies to improve the ways of life and survivability of those out in the bush. In fact, even during the Great Depression, the FDS continued growing and going from strength to strength, adding types such as the de Havilland DH-50s, Fox Moths, Dragons, Doves, and the de Havilland Australia DHA-3 Drover, and the fleet only continued to grow. In 1942, it was renamed to the Flying Doctor Service and later given the Royal Prefix in 1955, bringing us to the Royal Flying Doctor Service we know today. As of today, the RFDS operates 80 aircraft that are essentially flying intensive care units. Their current fleet consists of four main types, including 30 Beechcraft 200s and 200Cs, 10 Beechcraft 300C and 350s, one Beechcraft 360, 35 Pilatus PC-12s, and four of their current flagship and largest aircraft, the Pilatus PC-24s, which is currently the RFDS only jet type. Each aircraft is delivered as is, with none of the air ambulance interiors fitted until after they land in Australia. These interiors consist of what you might find in the back of a regular ambulance, such as space for stretchers, ventilators, IV drips, and other equipment that can be used to stabilize a patient before they arrive at the hospital. Each refit of the cabin will usually take an average of 760 man-hours per aircraft. The difference between the different generations of Beechcraft aircraft in the RFDS fleet is largely mechanical, as well as differences in avionics, but their dimensions remain the same. In addition to the flight crew, usually just one pilot, the Beechcrafts have space for two stretchers and three flight nurses if need be, but usually only operate with just one flight nurse. They can all cruise at 312 knots, with a range between 1235 and 1806 nautical miles, depending on the variant. The Pilatus 12 is the largest single type in the fleet. It too has the capacity of three flight nurses and two stretchered patients, although usually only one nurse but has a minor lead in terms of practicality over the Beechcraft as the cockpit doors allow the pilots to perform a walk around without having to disturb a patient in the cabin. It can cruise at 285 knots for 1,845 nautical miles. The Pilatus PC-24 is the largest type operated by the RFDS. Called emergency wards, the PC-24 has a capacity for three stretchered patients and up to four medical flight crew. With only four in the fleet, these aircraft have to be based across the country in order to maximize their speed and range in the widest radius. Currently, they are based in Jandicott, as well as Broome, West Australia, and in Adelaide, South Australia. The PC-24 can cruise at 440 knots for 1,800 nautical miles, an enormous reduction in response time. The RFDS was the first operator of the PC-24 as an air ambulance, with it also now being used in Sweden and the United States in similar roles. In addition to these fixed-wing aircraft, the RFDS also operates two Airbus helicopters EC-145s out of Perth, Western Australia. The RFDS currently operates out of 45 bases all across Australia. They are reflective of both the population centers of the Australian people and the availabilities of hospitals therein. As a result, many of their bases are located in the eastern end of the country. 
their aircraft have some of the highest utilization of their class. For example, the average Pilatus PC-12 will gain only around 200 flight hours in comparison to the RFDS PC-12s, which accumulate an average of 1,600 per year. That's roughly four hours, 25 minutes a day spent in the air just for this single type, which is testament to how vital a service they are and a testament to their commitment to the Australian people. A call-out can be anything from an infection to a major car crash and everything in between. It can happen anywhere, at any time. Sometimes they even have to use roads as emergency landing strips. The pilots and medics are some of the most highly skilled and most highly motivated, highly prized and highly regarded flight crews in the world, ready to assist anyone, anywhere, at any time of night or day. This is the mission they agree to complete when flying to the furthest corner, delivering the finest care. It is safe to say that Reverend John Flynn would be truly proud of his Royal Flying Doctor's service.